Hello everybody, it's Z here back with another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. So today I'm going to kind of like go through the Expansion Pass trailer and talk about some of the new stuff that's going to be coming in the DLCs. So let's just get right into it. So the trailer starts off just kind of going over all the old stuff and stuff that's currently in the game right now. All the gym leaders and Pokemon that are currently available and kind of the storyline and Gigantamax forms that we have right now. So then this goes kind of into the development pictures of like all the new Pokemon. So there's Talonflame right there. And so here we have like the expansion pass. So like for Sword and Shield. So it doesn't differ I don't think too much between the two games. But let's just get right into it here. So we kind of have like this like island kind of feel here where it's like kind of like a grassy but beachy also and you can see like the tower over there so you have slow poke and then you have like the slow bro form so you can see like the slow bro's face the original form but it's kind of like masked up so there's a the dojo which actually looks pretty cool and I, I don't know if these are going to be the two different dojo forms for sword and shield but it, look like, it looks like Cub Fu's like, face or something up there, like the new Cub Fu form. So these might be where you get it at. And even on the top of that one, too. So then here's all the new clothing items that are coming out, which is really cool. I really like some of these like new items. And then here's all the different hairstyles, kind of like the short side like fade. So like here, here's the people that you'll mainly talk to throughout the storyline. And then here's some of the new Pokemon. So you have the Dende, uh, Lycanroc. And so we got Gigantamax Venusaur. Gigantamax Blastoise, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like a dome off its back and it's like larger. It's almost like the cannons are replaced with one huge like volcano. And then it goes to the starters here, and so this is going to show their odd uh, Gigantamax forms. So there's Real Boom, which is, this looks pretty cool. He just has a huge drum set, and I guess like he has like grass, his like grassy like mane comes into like different arms. So Cinderace has this. This actually looks pretty cool because he's kind of like sitting on top of a. <laughs> I don't even know what you'd call this, like a big fireball. And then you have Inteleon. This is like this is the most like controversial one that people have been going over because it's like a, a straight water gun. But here you can see more of it. It's kind of like he has like a like a water droplet that turns into like an arrow almost. It's more like a spear kind of looking thing, even though it still shoots like water from here. But overall, it looks pretty cool. So it looks like he just like jumps up and gets on top of the tower. So let's just keep going here. And so then here's them walking through all the different areas. And that's just the first DLC. And that's like, there's still going to be tons of Pokemon in it. And like a huge storyline. So I really think this is like a, a super good like expansion pass. Especially since it's like, it's only $30 for both of these. So here we go into the second one. So I really like how this like setup is. It's kind of like a snowy castle look and feel. And the windows are pretty nice. So here's the guy you'll talk to in the second one, I'm pretty sure. And our new clothing items, they look sick. Uh, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. And here's like kind of like the temple. And I don't know what that is right there. I don't know if that's like a mark or something it's weird and so there's the new there's some new legendaries like that glaring slowpoke there's slow king right there so then here's some of the more of the new outfits that they're showing off here and new backpacks uh, like face masks new pokemon you got garchomp in there which is going to be insane because garchomp's so good and competitive unless they change the stats the new bird trio like, Zapdos in this bird trio looks crazy. Like, it doesn't even look like a flying type anymore. 
even though it does show it kind of like flying there. So like that's the second one, more of like kind of like a snowy, icy feel in like kind of like a mountainous area, and the other one's kind of like a beach with like a uh, more of like a beach feel to it. And so this is showing like non-actual game footage, and I think this is like the di this is a different like cub foo forms for its like new Glorian form, and it's gonna be based on whether you have sword or shield here. So one of these, you'll have one of these forms based on whether you have sword and shield. So you can see what they look like right there. And then this last part is like the new legendary, which I'm not ha sure like how much I really like this Pokemon. It just kind of looks like a grown up shaman. <laughs> but overall, like I think this is a really good expansion pass. Uh, I think that it's definitely worth the 30 bucks, especially since like you're getting two new DLCs, you're getting a ton of new Pokemon, and you're getting additional storyline added into the game. Uh, I know it can but go both ways where like they, they could have probably added this in the beginning but they're making it a DLC, but at least we're still getting something, and at least it expands the game a little bit longer, gives it a longer like, lifetime, rather than having it all come out at the same time, even though now we're paying for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about the new DLC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.